Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we will see how to convert epoch or Unix time into the human readable or normal date and time. In this video, I will show you how to convert with the help of Excel formulas and with the help of Power Queries. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. what happened I was working on one client data and I saw the all the dates like you know you can say order date delivery date deadline launch date and all the dates is it in epoch time so that is why I thought okay uh, as a data analyst you also can face these kind of issues sometime you don't know maybe how to convert so that is why I decided to make a particular video on this so before we begin our video we should understand what is the epoch time and what is the use of epoch time actually you know because we live in different different country like uh, India I mean New Zealand and and uh, USA or wherever you live so everybody has their time difference or time zone right GMT time which is we said okay but in epoch time they start in January 1 19 70 which will show you time into the seconds so as you can see here the unix is the number of seconds that have started since 1 january 1970 and not counting lap seconds means will count time as a second then you have to adjust uh, according to your time zone all right so i will not go too much depth into this if you want you can read uh, uh, all this article into the uh, epoch converter.com let's come back to our topic i have all this date into the epoch time so i want to convert this order date into the normal human readable time or you can say uh, normal uh, date and time function in excel to convert this epoch time we use one formula which is gonna be is equal to you will select the cell which you want to send change uh, you will divide by the 86400 this is fixed you don't have to change this all right then what you will do you will plus with the date from when uh, epoch time has started so it is going to be 1970 the first month and first day we'll close the bracket and hit the enter so as you can see here let me delete this all this for now okay as you can see here i got some number over here so now what i will do i will just right click on it go to the format cell and from here you can select the date and you can convert date as per your choice for example i will select date as per the normal time like you know uh, year month and date format if you want you can choose the month year or whatever format you want you can choose this for example for now i will select as a uh, date month and year format i'll just click ok it will convert the time and just double click on it it will change all the time into the normal date or human readable time okay so i hope everybody understand how to change in what you call excel okay Let, let's move on to the power bi why i'm showing you excel and power bi differently because sometimes usually as a data analyst we mostly work on the power bi or tableau these kind of tool you know to reduce our work like you know do the first data cleaning and all into the excel and then load that file into the your power query or tableau or whatever you are saying it would be better we will just do data cleaning or whatever uh you know changes we want to do directly into the power query right so first what i will do i will import that file into my power bi okay so as you can see here i have loaded my uh, data into the power bi i will just go to the transform data that it can take us to the power query right power query editor as you said okay so before we go further you should know that all the data is clean before you doing any uh, conversion or whatever you said as you can see here uh, the our header is not in perfect format like you know uh, we have column one and two what i will do i will just select this whole line and i will convert this into the as a header so i will click on it it goes converted right now our main parts begin here now what we want I want to convert this order date, delivery date, deadline, all this into the our normal date and time. So I'll select that column which I want to uh, convert it and I'll go to the add column or you can do in same column why I'm 
doing in add column that you will understand better all right i'll go to the custom column okay from here you can give name as per your choice for for example for now i will give name as a order date new all right here we have to write our formula that it will convert this epoch time into the normal data time or do or uh, let me do one thing i'll write the formula then i'll explain to you all right you can see here i use a date and time function this is 1970111 this is our starting time of epoch and this is how our minute and second 000 for now i change then i plus the duration with the hour minute and second then i use a format number dot form this is our uh, order date the column which we have gonna we are gonna change right i'll just click on ok so as you can see here all that this order date got changes in, into the our what you call date and time but we will make sure that it is correct or not how we will identify that i will just copy this go to the epoch converter website and i'll paste it here okay the same time from here i'll paste it i'll click on the timestamp so as you can see here it's showing that 1 feb 2017 6 pm right in the around 6 pm right we are we got also same time but there is a one catch as you can see here it's showing your time zone is 2nd feb 2017 7 in the morning around 7 10 in the morning right but it is different so now how to fix this what we will do i'll just copy this whole thing until here go to the chat jpt sometimes chat jpt can become so useful right all right so here i will write uh how much difference are there between both time june all right so as per the chat gpt it's saying the time difference between gmt is around 13 hour all right it is 13 hour so let's go back to our power query i'll select this column so this is our formula which we have used right now what i will do here in the duration there is a difference between 13 hour in our time zone and for you maybe it can be difference so what i will do I'll just remove this hour from here. I will do plus 13, 13 and hit enter. Okay. So now let's check. So as you can see here, let me drag it a little bit here. So it is showing 7, 10, 39 seconds in the morning. Let's go back to our epoch time. 7, 10, 39 in the morning. So it is perfectly fine there. Okay. From here, you can easily do the all the formatting and whatever you want to do you can do it okay okay so before uh, we end our video i would like to announce or i need your advice uh, i was thinking to made a video on uh, different topics like you know uh, what is the work of the data analyst how uh, a data analyst can find the job or uh, as a freelancer how data analyst can work because uh, i also work as a freelancer sometime so if you want uh, give me the suggestion uh, that you want me to make particular video on that and uh, how data analysts work and what is the tools you should know like uh, you know as a data analyst it is not necessary that you should know all the uh, you know the coding language like java java script c plus plus html or python or whatever so what is specially required for as a data analyst so if you want me to make these kind of videos please do let me know in the comment section i will definitely work on it so that's it for today till then happy learning keep supporting and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks so much